All right, Cindy, we're going to try this one more time. You could say the city of Cincinnati is the heart of the tri-state, but I would also say that the arts are the soul. So when we decided to look at Cincinnati 10 years later, I went to the center of the arts community. The new school for creative and performing arts overflows with music, energy, and the dreams of young artists. 18-year-old Joy McNeil plays keyboard in the jazz ensemble and plans to study music and composing in college. Well, when I was eight, the riots occurred. As young as she was 10 years ago, she vividly remembers the death of Timothy Thomas and the unrest that followed, mostly through the eyes of her older siblings. I remember specifically my brother, AJ, who went to West High, and he would talk about, he was around the same age as the young man that was killed. So my family was kind of in like a mourning state. We prayed for the family of the young man. And, and we just talked about how, one, we could prevent that situation for, you know, my siblings and my parents' uh, children. And my brother was just like, it hit so close to home for him because he was like, I could have known him. You know, I could have been him. Do you think race relations in Cincinnati have changed since then? Yes, I think they've gotten better, but just slower than I would hope. I know that like certain neighborhoods, I don't feel as comfortable um, being there and as welcome. Is it different here at SCPA? Definitely, yes, because it's such a diverse area. Joy loves that SCPA is downtown near Music Hall. And she loves making her own music. When I play my piano, I'm communicating in a, in a higher level, like especially when people are listening to me and, and especially playing black music, like a music that originated with my people. I just, I feel like empowered by it. So. Building SCPA near Music Hall was the late maestro Eric Kunzel's dream, linking the historic home of the symphony to the artists of the future. The arts have anchored over the Rhine through the last 10 years, even leading the way. The Art Academy opened its doors here on Jackson Street in 2005, and shortly after that, I brought my daughter here for lessons. I have to say at the time, I thought this street was kind of scary, but it's amazing how it's changed. When the Art Academy moved here from Mount Adams, architects transformed two old industrial buildings into spacious art studios. I love all the windows in this building. But that's a self-portrait? Yes. How'd you do that? Um, on a tripod and um, with a... Timer. Emma Williams is a senior from Dayton, Ohio. She's working on her senior thesis in photography. Personal devices are kind of overtaking our lives. Anthony Ellick, also a senior, has developed an interesting painting technique. It's not something you can really like control. Like you have to like almost choreograph like everything, but like you I'm not like totally in charge of the effects that like happen. Anthony grew up on the west side, but feels at home here in Over the Rhine. So I like the balance of kind of like right. the more accessible one. Emma says you have to use common sense about safety. I don't really know if it's gotten safer because I, I feel like they say it has and then I hear things, but I know in, in you know since 10 years ago, like you're talking about, it has definitely gotten better. I, I don't feel unsafe very often. We were No Theater Tribe, and then we renamed ourselves No Theater of Cincinnati. The No Theater, billing itself as left of Off-Broadway, moved to Jackson Street in 2007. I've seen a lot more people proud. J.B. Culligayan founded the No Theater. When you made the decision to move here, mm -hmm. um, was there ever a question that you would be in Over the Rhine? The neighborhood had been... Over the Rhine has been really good to us, so we really wanted to uh, continue that good feeling and give back to the neighborhood. Jay believes more people now take pride in Over the Rhine. And now more than ever, the arts are bringing people here, attracting more business, creating a sense of community. We're here in the midst of kind of that new, everything new going on. And as artists, like we want to be a part of that and kind of be a part of changing the world. I never feel like I'm alone type of setting. So. And everybody's an artist. Yes, everyone's an artist. And the arts, if they don't do anything, they pull people together. So. 
And you can get involved in changing the city. You can mentor, you can volunteer, or you can help by donating to programs we'll be talking about later in our series. Find a list of ways you can do that on our website, wcpo.com, slash 10 years later.